Hey everybody, Fumaster Chew here. Welcome back to the channel. I uh, do a little chat today. I figure I like to talk. Might as well make a video on that. Uh, sitting here at work, got my break. Figure I'd make something, you know, get something out there. The weather's been so nasty. And uh, between that, all the holidays, and not getting much time off, it's been uh, no uh, range time for me. And I've got a few things uh, new that I haven't got to shoot yet. Uh, I got a new rifle. Haven't even showed y'all yet. I got it uh, like a week before Christmas. But uh, now I figure I'd do a little chat. One, I want to thank uh, thank everybody. I got a bunch of new subs for some reason. And uh, like I said, I haven't had much time off. I've been really busy. Uh, the little time I do get off, I've been trying to chop wood because we've been burning through it. Uh, I think everybody knows it's been super cold everywhere most places in the U.S. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to let everybody know I uh, appreciate it. Uh, thank you, and welcome to all the new subs. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll be getting some time off coming up uh, this coming weekend. I'm actually going out of town. Uh, me and the wife are celebrating, or will be celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take a little trip. Uh, so, I won't be doing any shooting uh, this weekend, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, hopefully soon. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to do a little chat, a little thank you to the new subs and uh, welcome everybody to the channel. And uh, also wanted to do a little talking about the new Glock 19X. Uh, it's been like the talk for the last week, I guess. Or this past week it came out, you know, started dropping. And, uh, I guess it's not supposed to come out until the 22nd. It's like official release date. But I got an email uh, Thursday night, actually, from uh, a gun shop here in town, the Cops Gun Shop. And uh, they had uh, a few of them. I think he said he had three of them because I emailed the guy and asked him about it. And uh, he said he had three of them. And uh, I could have got one. It was $6.29. I even added it to the cart because I was surprised that they would even have them. So I clicked on it, you know, add to cart. Usually it'll tell you, you know, oh, they're out of stock or whatever. But no, it, they had them. And uh, I just didn't uh, didn't want to put it on credit card, you know, with Christmas. And we had some unexpected bills come up right after Christmas. So uh, that was $2,500 out of my savings account. Uh, kind of wiped me out. But, uh, yeah. Otherwise, I probably would have had one. And, uh but I keep seeing there a lot of people hating on this thing. It looks pretty sweet to me, but you know I do like Glocks, so maybe uh, that's why I I think it looks good. But uh, I mean it's uh, it's a special edition Glock. It uh, I keep all the stuff I've been seeing. Uh, it's not a carry gun. It's not meant to be a carry gun. Not when it's got a full size grip and uh, extended mags. I mean it's not a. I don't think Glock wants it to be a carry gun. I actually got an email from Glock, too, uh, letting me know that they were coming out with some new stuff. And uh, they never said anything about it being a carry gun in their email, either. So it's not a carry gun. Uh, yeah, it is. Basically, it's pretty close to the version they put in for the military trials. But uh, that's just good business sense, trying to sell off you know, stuff you had made up for, for that. Um, all the other companies did it. Uh, FN 509, the CZ P07, P09, the Chris uh, Sphinx SDP, I think uh, is what it's called. That was in the military trials. Uh, Smith and Wesson M&P 2.0. Basically, all the companies that had guns in there for the uh, military trial, uh, they also released those to the public, and I didn't hear any backlash about them. Uh, so the double standard is alive and well. But uh, I like all guns, and uh, pretty much I have all of those, except for the the, S, the Sphinx. I don't have one of those, and I don't have an FN 509. But I've got three of the M&P 2.0s now, and I love them. They're awesome. I've got three of the, uh, i got two PO9s, a PO7, and uh, who else had one? Uh, of course, i got a P, got a couple P320s. Actually, yeah, they're the ones who won the contract. But, uh, yeah, i got to send mine back in for that recall, you know, the drop thing or whatever. Uh, I wasn't going to do it, but I've seen so many videos that are uh, 
you know, pretty good, saying it doesn't take very long, you get them back quick, and, uh, you know, on the off chance, I've never dropped a pistol in my life, but the off chance that first time I do, and if it's that one it goes off, I'd rather not have that happen. So, yeah, I'm going to send mine back into both of them. And uh, I just got the emails this week, as a matter of fact, saying, hey, here's your, uh, they send you a first email letting you know, hey, uh, this is your number or whatever. And then they say, we're going to send you another email with the uh, print out label. So the first one you print it out and that sheet goes in the box with it. And then the second email they send you is the one that is the actual label. So I got mine printed out. Those will be going out in the mail, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, to go back to SIG and get the uh, the new trigger and all that, whatever it is. But, uh, yeah, I just thought it was funny, people hating on that gun. Uh, I, I've known several gun manufacturers that make a full-size grip with a smaller barrel than, say, four and a quarter inches, which is about the average for full-size. Now they make five-inch barrels for, you know, 1911s, or I know XDs had one, and uh, Glocks, of course, have, you know, their whatever you call the 17 duty size but uh, yeah I don't I don't understand uh, I think it's a good good looking pistol it's a special edition it's not that much it's only what 75 bucks more than the uh, Gen 5 Glocks which I didn't go out there and jump on that and buy one because I thought the price was a little high for basically just a, a new standard Glock uh, it didn't have night sights uh, which the uh, 19X does, uh, and I asked the guy at the uh, cop's gun shop, hey, did the, all three of those you had, did those have night sights? He said, yep, they were all the same. So apparently they're standard on that 19X. So to me, getting uh, extra capacity mags, uh, you know, it's a special edition. It's got improvements in it. It's got the new barrel. Uh, I think it looks cool, and yeah, I will have one, uh, just not right now. But hopefully soon, uh, I'm here at work again. So uh, speaking of that, it looks like my break's about up. So I get to get back to work. Weather's nasty today, so uh, not looking forward to that. But yeah, I wanted to get a quick video out. Like I said, thank everybody, the new subs and whatnot. And uh, if somebody gave me a shout out, I'm sorry. I've been trying to watch as many videos as I can, do my usual comments on everybody's videos, but. Uh, if somebody gave me a shout out and I missed it, I don't know why I've got an influx of new subs. But uh, I appreciate it. You know, I don't make money at this, but you know, if I make new friends, that's what matters. And I uh, appreciate it. So y'all have a good day. Y'all be safe out there. Stay warm. And go get you one of them new Glocks. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good one. Food Master Chew out.